you are currently watching this video because I have turned 30. So in light of that, we're gonna do something a little different for this video. I am 30 days away currently from being 30. So for the next 30 days, I'm going to film one life lesson that I've learned in the past 30 years. So let's get rolling with number one. The number one thing that will transform your entire life is diving into some form of self-development, okay? Hence this channel. <laughs> there are so many videos, movies, books, audiobooks, podcasts, so many things out there that you can use to learn yourself better, to improve your life financially, spiritually, physically, emotionally, all the lees. Okay, so if you're not into self-development and you're not happy in your life, get cracking toots. All right, number two, stop begging and pleading for people to do things. Sit back, allow them to show you your, their true colors and make your assessments and decisions from there. Do you want someone, let's say, to commit to you in a relationship because you begged them to or because they want to? You know what I mean? So just allow people to be who they are and make your decision from there. Number three, vulnerability is the most important component to any relationship. I'm not talking about just a romantic relationship, but with family, with friends, with anyone. If you don't have vulnerability, you don't have the ability to truly trust that person. Number four, words mean nothing unless they are backed up by actions. And look, I am a words of affirmations girly, okay? I get it, words are amazing if that's how you receive love. But if someone's saying something and their actions are not matching, it doesn't matter who it is, it doesn't matter. You have to learn, and I learned this the hard way, you have to learn to trust actions over words. Number five, the simplest way to a healthy and fit body where you look good and you feel good is cutting out everything processed, okay? Cut out all processed foods, including alcohol. That's all you need to know. Stop calculating all your macros. Stop following all these crazy diets. Stop doing all of this and just focus on the quality of the food that you're putting in your body and drink lots of water. It's really, it's really that simple, guys. Number six, invest in making your bedroom and or your home a peaceful sanctuary. Okay, this is where you come to find solitude and feel comfortable and at your peace of mind. It's not something you have to do all at once, but piece by piece. So you can see here, that's what I've cultivated for myself. Number seven, guys learn everything you can about financially investing and look I was never taught anything about money and investing and things like that I took it upon myself to learn as much as I could about it even if you can only invest or put away $50 a month $30 a month it doesn't matter just get in the habit of it learn about it and it will compound start as early and young as you possibly can all right, number eight, be open-minded. There is nothing more that will keep you in stagnation and stuck than being closed-minded and not allowing other opinions to, and not allowing your mind to kind of wrap around other opinions. It is not hypocritical to change your mind upon new information, okay? Instead of being so quick to get your point across, get your opinion across when someone disagrees with you, listen to them, understand where they're coming from, and maybe you'll see that their opinion might be better than theirs, okay? Our opinions are not who we are, and it's time to stop defining ourselves by our opinions. Number nine, prioritize your relationships over everything. I mean, your friends, your family, your partner, your kids, whoever it may be, because there is literally nothing more important in this life than the people that we love. You know, <clears throat> who cares 
if you're having a great time and you're up late and you're laughing and you're with someone you love, oh, but you have work in the morning, you have school in the morning, you're gonna be tired, who cares, okay? Embrace that time, all right, and enjoy it with the people that you love. Number 10, help those in need whenever you can, all right? Give the $5 to the homeless man, sponsor a kid, sponsor a family, donate to that high school person that posted on Facebook that needs help with a GoFundMe. You know what I mean? Just give back whenever you can. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, but just understand that there are so many people in need and that if you were in those positions, you would want help as well. Number 11, learn how to deal with conflict in a calm manner. Be respectable cursing, belittling someone, raising your voice is not going to solve anything. And to be honest, it's only, only going to make you more low value. So just be calm, think things through, respond, and don't react. Number 12, journal. It is just so incredible to look back at your growth, your memories, everything in between. I was never a journaler my entire life. And in the last three years, I've filled up about six. You don't have to do it every day, but just when something that you want to remember pops up, I promise it's worth it. Number 13, support your friends, small businesses, invest in their product, buy their product at full price, or even just share it on social media. Because the thing is, is if, even if you're just sharing their stuff, it's not costing you anything, but it will help them immensely. Why are you supporting people you don't know that have millions and billions of dollars, but not your own friends and family. 14, understand that your thoughts and your feelings control your entire reality, your whole reality, your whole life experience. If you can learn how to change those two things, your thoughts and your feelings in conjunction with each other, you will literally transform your entire life. It is an ongoing process. You have to do it every day, but and I promise you'll be so thankful for that. 15, learn how credit cards work, learn how to utilize them correctly, and you will learn to save thousands of dollars, get absolutely free money, free hotels, free flights. Like it is crazy how much people throw away by not utilizing credit cards properly. I'll post a video right here so you guys can check out how I've been using it for years. I've never overspent on my credit card because of how strict I am with it. And I and I literally and I literally have not paid for a flight in years. Okay? And I travel a decent amount. That's thousands of dollars that I've saved by just learning and utilizing the correct credit card. So I promise you guys just do it. It's not scary. If you do it the right way, check out the video. I'll post it in the uh, description below and get your free stuff, you know, get your free stuff. <laughs> Number 16, the person who cheated on you, who didn't respect you, who abused you emotionally or physically or never chose to commit you, or never chose to commit to you is not your forever person. Stop making up excuses for them and realize that you are meant to be chosen and respected and cherished and loved. Number 17, learn to embrace and love your alone time. All right, most of the times when people don't like being alone, like in general, and I used to be that way, trust me, for most of my life, it is because they are running from and fearful of their thoughts. You know, they, they don't want to be left alone. They don't want to have those outside distractions because if that's the case, you know, then they never have to deal with it. So when you embrace your alone time and you spend time with yourself, that's how you face your demons. It's how you get to know yourself the best and it's how you heal. All right, like it is so important. If you're someone that hates being alone, I would highly advise to dive into that. You know what I'm doing right now? It's Saturday night. I'm alone. You know, all my friends, everyone's busy. And I was like, hmm, what do I want to do with my night? 
So I'm going to see Barbie by myself. I got my blanket and everything. So don't be afraid of doing stuff like that, you guys. All right? And take yourself out on a date. Number 18, have a morning or night routine, preferably both, but have something that's easy, it's simple, it makes you feel good. It could be 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever. This is vital, right Nugget? This is vital for your mental health and to feel good and peaceful throughout your day and to also go to bed to, at night on a positive note. I highly, highly recommend this. I have noticed that when I don't do my routines, I get way more scatterbrained, more anxiety, and more stressed out. And when I can really hone in and stick to this, that I feel so much better. So just do it. Even just start off with one, start off with night or morning, get used to it, get in the habit of it, and then work your way into, you know, the other, the opposite one. Number 19, the things that scare you, do those. When you step out of your comfort zone, you will be shocked at just the growth and the amount of beautiful, life-changing things that can come your way. Do it. Number 20, you're not just going to, oh, why is my hair like this? Ah! I swear this hammock has just been so staticky lately. What is that? <laughs> anyway, number 20, you're not just going to wake up one day and just be happy all of a sudden. I think a, a huge misconception is that like some people are just born happy and others aren't. Happiness is a choice. And what I mean by that is it's, it's a conscious choice and it's, it's something that you can actually learn to develop and build over time. You aren't destined to just be unhappy for the rest of your life with no way of changing it, okay? No matter what your background is or where you come from or what your play, the playing cards that you were dealt with are, 95% of my channel is directed towards helping you learn and heal and figure out different ways that you can find happiness and can be happy. So I recommend checking those out. And if you really do want to be a happier person, like genuinely, like you want to feel good and you want to be positive and you just want to feel happy and at peace, these 30 things, this, this list that I'm giving you is gold. You just have to actually listen to them and, and implement them. And that's really the, the toughest part. But as you continue to do that, it's like, it's like anything else where with practice these things get easier 21 you have so much more power over your life than you think you do and as soon as you can take the blame for all of those negative things you will also simultaneously take control back so that you can change those things you have the power within yourself 22 the true key to any healthy, happy, successful relationship, and I don't mean just with a romantic partner, but your friends and your family, and even in a sense like your place of work or your job or your career, the number one key here to me is vulnerability. Vulnerability shows the other person, one, that you trust them. Two, there is a sense of love and respect there. And you really just can't get anywhere and build and, and deepen any type of relationship if you are not willing to put your guard down and let other people in. And I know, I know it's scary. Okay, I know it's scary. But if you want to be closer to someone, that is the... That is the straight shot. That is the way to do it, okay? And the thing is, is if, if it's not received well on the other person's end, that's not on you, that is on them. And you are not meant to have a deeper relationship with that person if they can't handle it and or reciprocate that vulnerability. Number 23, let's be real here. 
we're not taught about romantic relationships in school. And honestly, the majority of us don't see an example of a healthy, like really healthy relationship. So what that means is we have to take it upon ourselves and do the research ourselves and, and learn about relationships. You wanna know why there are so many failed relationships and divorces and, and so many people cheating and all these horrible things that come with these romantic relationships. It's because no one knows how to navigate them. No one knows how to deal with them. No one knows how to, to, to have the emotional intelligence to speak to their partner and, and get their point across, right? But in a way that makes you on the same team as them and not an opposing, an opposing team. So this tip is to research and learn all about relationships, masculine and feminine energies, polarity, all that kind of stuff, and it will transform your relationships. Number 24, do shadow work. Learn where your limiting beliefs are, your negative thought patterns, your traumas. When you dig deep, and look, it's not easy work, but when you do this and you understand why you have these thoughts and beliefs and traumas and where they come from, that is when you can truly start to transform them and heal them and become the person that you want to be, that you know deep down you are. Okay, but these things are, are blocking you and we can't unblock them, right? Unless we know what they are. So if you haven't heard of shadow work before, I highly recommend looking into it. Like I said, it is, it's not an easy thing to do, but if there is one thing that I've done on my, not only spiritual journey, but just in this whole realm of self-development, this single thing has been the most transformative and beneficial for my own growth and my own happiness. Okay, isn't that what we're all about here? So shadow work. Number 25, understand you do not need to be tied to one career your entire life, okay? Taking opportunities and risks when they present themselves is going to be absolutely key to your growth, okay? I, I wish more people understood this because it's really not that serious. I've changed career paths five, six times, and sure, like some of them haven't worked out, but they've all led me to where I am now, right? And I wouldn't have grown the way I have, I wouldn't have become success successful the way that I have if I hadn't taken those risks and if I had tied myself into this one career box, okay? So just chill out. If you're not happy with your line of work, do something about it. Seriously, you can always go back, so just do it. Number 26, stop dating for potential and date for face value. People will show you and tell you exactly who they are. It is up to you to listen to that and to decipher it. Life is way too short to be wasting your precious time on the wrong people. So will you take this person as they are right now in this moment? Or are they not giving you what you truly need and what you truly desire out of a relationship? Number 27, and who would I be if I didn't mention this on my list of 30? Because if you watch my channel, I do bring it up a lot because it's, oh, it's so important and it's really, I see my life fluctuate a lot whether I am or not practicing this and that is gratitude. I'm telling you guys, I, what, when people think of gratitude, I think there's a misconception of thinking that it's like, it has to be this big, grand thing. Whereas if you wake up in the morning and I suggest doing this in the morning, it takes literally 30 seconds. Okay. You can still be in bed when you do it. Like I am. And you give gratitude for three things in your life. It can be the big things. It can be, you know, the home that you live in. It can be the people in your life. It can be your career, your job, your car, whatever. It can be just the feel of your bed right? It can be, I'm so grateful that I live 
in this in this nature like seriously though like how freaking stunning is this backyard I'm grateful for it every day it's so beautiful and I'm telling you guys like when I am not practicing gratitude and not doing this this these statements in the morning I do notice my mental health and my happiness simultaneously just plummeting and when I do practice this consistently it's 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 literally life changing and so I had to just put this in this video and I want to show you guys a really easy way because sometimes we can forget right we can forget to do these little practices and so I want to show you real quick what I do so that I don't forget to do this now you can just put in your phone obviously if you're really good at making habits you can do it that way too but what I do is I made sure that I could not forget and so what I did is I put it where is it right here right on my bathroom mirror so that every time I come into my bathroom I see I am so grateful for blank and all I do is I just fill it in, fill in the blank. I'm so grateful for this bathroom, right? I am so grateful for anything. It can be little things and try to come up with different things every day. It can be different people. It can be different items. It can be for yourself and for your own self-development and your growth. You can be grateful for the fact that you took the time to watch this video and maybe take a few things from it to improve your life, okay? so. Don't forget your gratitude. Number 28, move. Seriously, walk. <laughs> I almost jumped you. <laughs> walk, exercise, dance every damn day, or at least most days. It's not just about looking good, right? I mean, that's a huge perk to it, obviously. But if you move your body, you will feel amazing. I'm telling you, I've been an athlete my entire life. I have ran track. I have been a, a competitive gymnast, a cheerleader. I've been lifting in the gym for almost 12 years now, 11 years, I don't know. And I can guarantee you that throughout these last 30 years, I feel so much better. I just feel great on the days that I move my body. So stop making excuses and just do it. If you're just starting out, just start slow. Go on a 15, 20 minute walk around your neighborhood every day and just gradually work your way up. And I promise like, not only will you look better, but you will just feel so good. And I want you guys to feel good, you know? Number 29, learn your personal balance. Learn when to push yourself to go out with people you enjoy and when you wanna stay home. Learn to know the difference of when you want to, when you don't want to go to the gym, of when to say, yes, I'm going anyway, and when to know to give your body the rest that it needs. I have always been prone to linking my, my worth and my value to my accomplishments and my productivity. And I think, unfortunately, a lot of us do that. This is something that I have been working on for about two years and while it's still present from time to time, I will say that this one thing has really given me the ability to help me on my journey to inner peace. So I would definitely suggest finding your personal balance. And lastly, number 30. In a world filled with social media and filters and highlight reels and all these things, it may seem like everyone has it together but you. But that is the furthest thing from the truth, okay? We all fight battles that no one else knows anything about. You were created to be you and not anyone else. So love yourself, embrace who you are, and lastly, be limitlessly 